This playthrough is rated E for everyone. You know, history dictates that it's Sypha and Alucard that helped Trevor save the day, at least according to the anime. But the anime's wrong. It was Grant, Dynasty, and Trevor. We're gonna show every, we're gonna show the King, Lord of Darkness what true nastiness is. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're here with the finale of Castlevania III, Dracula's Curse. In the last episode, we fought the physical manifestation of death itself. We fought ourselves, or looked into ourselves through the mirror, or whatever that doppelganger thing was. And we thought, well, we're, we're heroes. We're going to save the day against Dracula as we look into the moonlight here. Um, but yeah, Dracula himself, I don't find he's actually super hard, especially if you've got the axe, which I've got here. Um, the crossbow, or the boomerang doesn't work. Well, actually, it works decently well. I mean, it's um, depending on the boss, because you can get multiple hits, but I, the only, I, I, I haven't never gotten the crossbow, or crossbow, boomerang here, uh, like, to this point, usually I just have the axe by this point, which is, I think is a better sub-weapon, the dagger could work, the one that gives you, I mean, it's not the best, but it'll work, um, the holy water is worthless, don't even have the holy water here, and really, as companions go, I think Sypha actually does it, if I remember correctly, if you have her flame, uh, sub-weapon, she does a pretty good amount of damage to Dracula, um, even though she has a really crappy main weapon, her sub weapon, if you've got it, will do a decent amount of damage to him. So that might be one thing to go is to try to see if you get Sypho with her fire sub weapon. Alucard doesn't really do much. I mean, maybe hopefully you've upgraded his weapon. Oh, yeah, I talked about it in a previous episode. Wouldn't it be nice if they upgrade your companion's abilities? Well, technically, Alucard does have something similar to the uh, whip extension where you can. Uh, uh, where he can uh, beef up his abilities where he shoots multiple flames out of his cape instead. So, anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to pause it for so long because this may take me, like, little to no time depending on how things go. But anyway, the Lord of Evil himself, Dracula, he, uh, yeah, his first attack is he summons Pillars of Flames and tries to capture you in between them. Um, it is kind of random, whoops, how much room he gives you to jump in. Sometimes he'll give you, like, a ton of room, and then other times he'll give, like, no room at all. So that's it for his first form. I probably should have taken no damage from that. But anyway, second form is easy as well. Um, it's basically just floating faces. He shoots goo at you, and you see like bits of his brain over there. So really just run under him. Uh, make sure to not to get caught in the um, corners, because he will just run into you. Um, and you just keep hitting his faces until they turn to uh, turn they turn to, to dust or bone. Uh, uh. I mean, I shouldn't get hit by this guy, but then again, I shouldn't have gotten hit by his other form, too. And, well, now we see how that happened, you know, or that, how that turned out, you know. Yeah, very heinous, but that's it for his second form. All right, third form, which is gargoyle form, or whatever you want to call it. This form can be easy or hard, depending on where you're standing and what sub-weapon you've got. So the plan is to be on those platforms and to hit him in his head, and depending on where you're standing, his uh, laser eyes will be following you. So the... And so if you have the axe, like what I have, this fight's going to be probably pretty easy, actually. Um, no, dang it. Yeah, this is what, that's the problem with the platforms, is they're there to help me fight Dracula. But sometimes it'll actually be a detriment, because if I'm standing on it while I'm trying to throw a, a, uh, an axe, and, uh, you know. Yeah, as long as I move close, whoop, that actually messes me up like when I get hit by that, so. Yeah, I, I might actually do this in the second try. I mean, I could have done this in the first try if I didn't just straight up run into him. And that's it. Ha ha. Yeah, now we have to wait for the platforms to reset. There you go, reset. There you go. And that's it for Dracula. We beat the game. Wow, all right. I actually didn't expect to, I mean, I died. I had to continue, but... Uh, yeah, we beat Dracula. That's it. It's three forms. Like I said, not super difficult if you have the axe. If you have the daggers, obviously you have to follow the platforms and, you know, hit them as is. Maybe Grant might be useful because he can dodge a little bit easier, but yeah, axe makes this so much easier. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, collect the orb and see the ending of the game. One of, uh, I think there's, let's see, there's uh, four versions of the ending. There's one where you're by, if you do Trevor by himself, one if it's you and Grant, one if it's you and Sypha, and one if it's you and Alucard. So we're just going to see the Grant ending for this playthrough, so. You know, now that I think about it, I probably could have tied this into the end of the last episode, but, yeah, that's fine. I can have short episodes every once in a while. Yeah, you see Grant give a little cheer. 
Trevor made many sacrifices. The long fight is over. Dracula is dead, and all other spirits are asleep. Both feel their friendship is stronger since they worked together to rid Wallachia City of evil. Grant will start to rebuild the destroyed areas of the city. After this fight, the Belmont name shall be honored by all people. At least until the reincarnation of a spoiler um, takes over and gets a couple of games to his name. And then that's, I think this is the last of that series or whatever. And that's it for Castlevania Dracula 3, and we actually get a little bit of a credit roll. And yeah, there's Sypha with her uh, ice magic. Yeah, Vampire Hunter, Sypha Vel... Velnundes? Velmundes? I think they changed her last name later on to change its canon name. Let's see, Grant... Dynasty. I thought it was Dynasty. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, Acrobat, Grant, Dynasty. Hmm. I like the ending music to this game as well. And yeah, it shows uh, Alucard about... I guess he's about to change it to his bat form. But yeah, Alcard, Adrian F. Tepes, Te Tepish, or whatever. That was, I guess, supposed to be human form rather than being Alcard. And then there's Trevor in the forest there, so. Produced by Konami, Dracula 3 Project Team. All right, yeah, when Konami, used to make, Konami actually used to make good games and everything like that, so. Yeah, I know I say that every time I play a Castlevania game. But uh, yeah, a fun game. Uh, um, oh yeah, there's and starring Trevor C. Belmont as whoever you put your name in in the uh, password thing or whatever um yeah i really like this game and yeah thanks for making it konami back when you made good games and uh, i like the I, I like the game overall because one it's a nice decent challenge two it's got a lot of replay value in the path system where you can go different paths and just play it through that way and then another reason is the different companions so depending on who you choose well, if you decide to play with companions you don't have to you can actually ignore all of them and get an ending where you just do it as trevor um, and all the companions are different. They're not car carbon copies of, of Trevor, and they're not carbon copies of each other. So they all have unique abilities. Grant had his abilities. Yeah, he was he fast, he climbed by walls, and he could use daggers and axes. If you had Sypha, she was slow, and she had, didn't have a very good physical attack. But her spells are fantastic. But they do a lot of damage, and they're pretty versatile, depending if you get the flame one or the ice one. I prefer the flame one because it does a ton more damage. And then Alucard, which you could he could transform into bats and fly around the levels, similar to Grant, although it did cost hearts to do that, but he could, so he could skip whole areas with with uh, Alucard. And if you upgrade his uh, weapon, you could get multiple fireballs shooting out of his cape. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not sure how long this is going to take me. It's probably only going to take me a couple of minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, play the game again and get to uh, get Sypha just to show her combat style and then I'll show and then I'll go get uh, Alucard and show uh, show me getting him really quick just like I said since it didn't take me too long to get this and make it a full video or whatever so I'll be right back and I'll uh, show you Sypha's gameplay and then I'll show you Alucard's gameplay just to kind of tie into the very end so see y'all in a second. All right, folks, uh, let me start out. I say I was going to go get Sypha and Alucard, but I almost completely forgot that there's a password system that I can use to get them early. So let me show that off really quick. So, yeah, we'll just skip to the opening and press select, go to password, and press start. And I'll show you a couple different ways to play this game. So, one, if you want to start the second quest, which is basically hard mode, which is basically you beat the game once and you play through it again. And I forgot what hard the diff difference on hard mode is. I think things have a punch a little harder and they have a little bit more HP I think but I could be wrong it's been forever since I've actually replayed the game on hard mode which is basically just beating the game again although if you want to play hard mode straight up and just do second quest and there is like a little bit of difference at the end of the game uh, when you beat the level or when you beat the game on hard mode you get a different a little bit different credits at the end of it but let me show you how you get into if you want to do second quest just put in the password, or the name, sorry. You put your name in differently to get uh, different results. So so if you want to go just straight up to second quest, put in the name a comma. 
And yeah, we got. Oops. No, I didn't. I just wanted to. Oops. Hold on. I'll try that again. Hold on. Reset. All right, folks, we're here at the uh, intro again, and I forgot that uh, you can actually use passwords to uh, um, to get like different results and everything like that. So, um, okay, one more time. All right, so we're starting off the game again, and this is how I'm going to show you how to get Alucard or Cypher a little bit earlier if you want to, as well as trying to do second quest if you want to just do second quest, which is basically hard mode. Um, if you do uh, hard mode or beat the game of hard mode, um, you, the credits are slightly different than before, uh, but let me try to start off by doing opening. And we can also do password system if you want, but if you want to do opening and want to start doing second quest, just put in the name a comma, and that'll get you started on hard mode, or second quest, whatever you want to call it. There's really no way to immediately tell from like hard mode, other than I think the enemies do a bit more damage, I believe is what it is. Um, everything has the same HP, if I remember. There's really no way to tell, but I am playing. This is hard mode. I mean, there's really no way to really tell otherwise. So, but anyway, let me reset the console really quick. All right, so now if you want to play the game with Alucard starting right at the bat, choose opening, but uh, choose a different name. So choose the name of Okuda to do that. So, Okuda. You will get the same intro. But yeah, Alucard's now immediately on our team as we start out, so. All right, yep, Alucard. And yeah, Alucard uh, throws fireballs out of his cape. So no sword from, like, um, uh, Symphony of the Night. But yeah, uh, he, gets, uh, he gets upgrades very similar to Trevor, as you can see here. I want to show off his third form before, or third thing before we uh, um, show off Sypha. So um, I want to get his other power up. There we go. And yeah, he can shoot three fireballs. Very nice. He is a little slow, not as fast as a. Uh... Actually, no, I think him and Trevor have the same uh, uh, thing. But anyway, if you press down and uh, A, I believe, he can turn into bat form, which allows him to get to different locations, depending on it. Uh, it's a little bit more useful than Grant's ability, mainly because of you can basically go anywhere. You're not required. You're not set to the walls and stuff like that. So as you can see here. So all right. Well, anyway, let's uh, show off Cypher really quick as I reset the console. All right, let's uh, go to opening. So if you want to play as uh, Saifa right at the beginning, put in the name Urata. Yeah, there's more based off Japanese tiles, but hey, or Japanese names, stuff like that, but hey, it works. Skip that. And we got Saifa right at the ready to go after joining us. So yeah, as you can see here, she's kind of a, you know, Cleric Witch, but yeah, she's got a really crappy range. Actually, her range, actually her range is technically better than Grant's, isn't it? Or about maybe the same. Yeah, she whacks stuff with a stick. Um, yeah, her big thing is her uh, books or spells or whatever. So the first spell here is Fireball, and yeah, has a really good range. It only costs like one heart, and it does a ton of damage to creatures and bosses. So if you can get Cypher um, up to a boss, you'll you'll and with a decent amount of. Uh, Hard, you'll wreck him with uh, with her. So that's uh, she's a good party member. It's just like I said, because of her short range, you know, and she's not as fast as like Grant and stuff like that. Let me see if I can find uh, her other book. She's got two books. She's got the the fireball or fire or whatever you want to call it or blaze. Yeah, but she's also got um, ice spells as well. So yeah, let me see if I can uh, just get. Uh, find one around here somewhere like that. I don't remember every single uh, uh, book or item is or variation on it and stuff like that. So half the time, depending on how things go, you probably will never, unless it's a candle, you'll probably just attack things with her uh, fire ability just so you can kill things in one shot. For, there it is. There's the ice spell. This one's also a really useful ability because, and I've talked about this before with the... Uh, um, with the red skulls or whatever they're called. Yeah, instantly freezes them and they'll shatter. And this obviously works on all normal enemies. Bosses, unfortunately, do not... They might take some damage from the freeze, maybe. But uh, the, you want to have fire. You basically want to have fire. Whoops. You want to have fire when you're fighting bosses. And then when you're fighting regular enemies, you want to have ice. So um, that's the way to play Saifa. She's a really... Like I said, she's really good if you know can get her abilities. So 
Anyway, let's reset the console again. All right, so let's do the one where you get Grant this time. Uh, I already got Grant, but I just want to show you what happens when you get Grant, so. All right, let's see, Fu, uh, let's see, it's, I think it's Fujimoto, I believe, Fujimoto. And then I'll get you Grant. Yeah, see, Grant is ready to go. Also, if you beat the game uh, and you continue after the credits, it immediately goes into second game mode and you just play as whoever was your companion and you go through the game again. So if you got Grant and you start out as Grant, you don't have to you don't have to go through the clock tower again. You can skip that because he's already on your team, for example, if you want to beat the game with Grant again, for example. So but yeah, you already know Grant. You can climb on walls, has his dagger, and uh, he's super fast. So, all right. Another trick for those who want to have a little bit of easier time at the beginning of the game. Let's uh, reset the console again. All right, let's uh, do opening, and this time we'll put in the the um, name code of. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me reset the console again. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I forgot you can just put in no name if you want to do that. So, but anyway, if we want uh, help, well, we just have to say help me. I think I, I think I have to put. This. I'll have to look it up again. It might be I might have to put them together. Let me separate them, see if it works. Okay, yep, it, it separates it. So as you can see there, I now have 10, 10 lives. So now a little bit free extra lives as we go through the level, as long as we have. Um, I think it's only at the start. I don't think, I, I'll have to check maybe later, like if you continue, if you still get the 10 lives or if it's just at the beginning of the game. But yeah, you start at 10 lives, which is really nice. So, all right, let's go over. Now, if I want to try to beat the second game again, but I want to get, um, so, so what you can do on passwords, you can do like a, you can do the name of a character to get start on the second quest. I forgot how you don't get much time on that. So if I, uh, if I want to get to like the very end on second quest, what I want to do is I want to put a comma in and then I put in a password that I want. But if you know the password to the final area of the game, you can just do that. So let's, for example, um, do, let's see. Let's look up, I'm just looking up the um, couple options here for me. Let's see. Uh, okay. Actually, let's do, okay, never mind. Let's not do a comma. I'm sorry, this is the one, uh, this part here is on, it's the one I'm not 100% familiar with. So there's uh, there's quite a few passwords for this name that people have. I'm, I'm looking these up myself, so. All right, so let's see. Yeah. yeah, let's do, yeah, sorry, let me try, let me start that again. So let's make the final boss a little bit easier this time. And we can show off the other endings too. So let's get help me. And then after we do that, let's, uh, let's see, let's try, let's get the game with, uh, with the, uh, Cypher here, so we want to put heart whip. Let's see, second line. Yeah, I have to, like I said, I have to look all these up because most of these I don't remember off the top of my head. So whip, uh, and then cross, cross, heart. All right, we're at the final area of the game with uh, Cypher in tow. So I'm going to go uh, go ahead and beat uh, Dracula again, and I'll be right back and show you Cypher's ending. Yeah, t Trevor is still easier to kill the Dracula with the axe, but Sypha, like, wrecks his first two forms, like, with her fireball. It's ridiculous how much damage you do with that. But anyway, yeah, beat it again with Sypha. Uh, wasn't as bad with her ice powers and everything with that, and being able to get to the final level, obviously, but, uh, yeah, and then get fire, and fire drops automatically if, if, if it's the dagger or fire for Trevor um, at that final part, so. And there's Sypha and Trevor right there watching the castle collapse i like this one better uh, well this is probably my favorite mainly because you know you can tell they get together and you see saifa's long golden locks as they hug after the battle is uh beaten i mean i still like the grant one because it's you know true friendship and all that other stuff but you know something 
tugs at the heartstrings when you know two two people find each other in this chaos. Trevor made many sacrifices. The long fight is over. Dracula is dead, and all other spirits are asleep. Sypha, the vampire killer, has had a bad life, but since she met Trevor, she's beginning to feel more comfortable with herself. Originally, a lot of people thought, I think in one of the translations, I think uh, some people translated as, as Sypha being a dude. I think the first time I played, I thought it was a dude too, so until this part, anyway. After this fight, the Belmont name shall be honored by all people. Yeah, there's something sweet about Sypha. And, uh, yeah, she's even called a vampire hunter too, or vampire killer too, so uh, I thought I thought in the original translation she was supposed to be like either um, uh, spirit hunter or something like that, but anyway, yep. And that's it for Sypha, so... All right, I believe uh, on this, ver since I only use the password for the regular version and not the uh, hard mode, it's going to have just the standard credits. Because um, if you do it on hard mode, then it has the like official credits for the um, the people who actually made the game instead of being comedic uh, credits. So, all right, I'll be right back when I uh, do... Uh, um, actually, well, I can show you uh, Alucard's one. So we have to go through the credits again, though, So which... Uh, yeah, I like the credits, but now nah, I'll, I'll cut to when I uh, to when the credits are over. All right, we've uh, res I could have just reset the whole time, but uh, I cut it to when I got to it. So, all right, let's go to password and show like uh, what the password is if we want to get to the final level with Alucard in our crew. So we want to do once again. We want to do help me if you want a um, the extra lives for this, which with Dracula makes it a lot easier. All right, so with Alucard, we want to have heart, 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 uh, heart. Wow, this one's actually really easy. All right, final area as Alucard in the group, so I will, ouch, I will get to um, the final area with Alucard, so I'll be right back when I do that, so. You know, interesting enough, uh, it's actually easier just to do Trevor instead of Alucard through, for his boss. Although, if you've got Alucard with his three um, orbs, you'll be able to hit him without having to jump on those platforms. The only problem with Alucard's three orbs is they're not super strong. Like, some enemies don't actually die to him, unlike Trevor's whip. So, that's the challenge of using Alucard. But, anyway, let's see the ending with Alucard and friend. The anime, or cartoon, you know, anime, I guess. Uh, made them seem like the best of buddies by the end of this, and they were cursing each other and acting like five-year-olds when talking to each other. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a hit or miss when it comes to like the writing of the anime, really, to tell you the truth. You know, a little animation of uh, Alucard's cape flapping in the wind. Yeah, no, no. And I, it was a grant, like, kind of did like a hurrah, raised his arms up or whatever, but uh, yeah. Trevor has made many sacrifices. The long fight is over. Dracula is dead and all other spirits are asleep. The battle was won by Trevor and Alucard, but Alucard feels guilty because he killed his real father. Trevor realizes this as he stands there thinking about Alucard. After this fight, the Belmont name shall be honored by all people. Yeah, it's kind of more just bittersweet with Alucard just because he killed his father you know it's like yeah he needed to do it but uh didn't didn't mean he had to feel good about it so oh boy oh boy all right now all that I have to do is uh beat the game with um um, just out uh, just Trevor by himself. However, I'm gonna do that by beating um, uh, Doing second quest mode and Just going and just ignoring everyone. So unfortunately as far as I'm aware there isn't no password that Gets you second quest mode and then gets you straight to the end most of the passwords. I'm seeing here uh, take us to uh, um, Take us to either the beginning of second quest or uh or it takes you to the end of it, but it's on r regular mode. So as far as I'm aware of, you have to beat it that one legit. Um, 
At least that's what I'm seeing here anyway when I'm looking at like all these different passwords. So if I find a password while I'm beating the game, because I'll probably take breaks in between that, I will. But if not, I'll see you at the end of the game after beating it on hard mode. So like I said, it's mainly just the enemies doing more damage and stuff like that. So I'll see you then. All right, finally did it and beat this thing. Ooh, that took me quite a long time because hard mode's actually kind of hard in this game. One, because, you know, enemies are faster, but two, they actually have new enemies, so the levels have new extra enemies that weren't there before. Maybe I should have done a playthrough of the hard mode. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that next year or something like that if I feel like it. But anyway, let's beat the game on hard mode with Trevor, get his ending and the actual credits to the game. Yeah, that took me, like, usually, t like, what it take me, like, a hour and a half or something like that too it actually took me I wouldn't say double but quite a bit more because and i went on the path where you pass by sypha and go through the the boat uh which i skipped the first time because it's actually actually going through the what is considered quote unquote the short path is actually harder than going the long way which is the way i did it but yeah i get a little animation of trevor's uh cape flapping in the wind so uh, Trevor made many sacrifices. The long fight is over. Dracula is dead, and all other spirits are asleep. Hush you, hush you. In the shadows, a person watches the castle fall. Trevor must go na for now, but he hopes someday he will get the respect that he deserves. So wait, he doesn't get the respect unless a. Uh, well, then again, but it says like right afterwards, after this fight, the Belmont name shall be honored by all people. Then he technically gives respect. All right, whatever. Yeah, it's more of a lonely journey when you do it by yourself than with a friend. I don't know. What my, I guess my favorite is the Sypha one just because, you know, they find love and, and all the chaos and evils, you know, by the end of it. But uh, I don't know. The uh, Grant one's kind of nice, too, just because they become friends and they help each other fix Walpurgia or whatever, so. But anyway, that's it for Dracula's Curse. But anyway, if you beat it on hard mode. Yeah, we actually get the credit. People who actually made the game. Holy crap, who knew? You know, back in the day, there was like a weird... I forgot the reason. Was, it had something to do with like taking or trying to... If you found out who people who made the game, people would try to... Other companies tried to snipe certain people so that's why in the early days of the game a lot of people used fake names and not or didn't actually have credits for the game so you didn't find out legitimately who made the games for the longest time eventually they got past that i mean i don't mind joke uh if people brought back joke credits for like the first minute of the uh, credits and then actually showed who made it or maybe did credits at the beginning of the game or something like that when you're playing it but uh yeah uh, it's nice to actually get find out the people who actually made the game and see the, the legitimate credits of people who put it together so um and yeah it still lies and i put in the akama one so i could start off and what happens if you put in a comma is you basically and this is hard mode in general is you stick with um a con in a comma you, you you play as trevor and even if i run across an ally in that one if you do that password then you can't swap companions it like it skips past that dialogue where they can join you and it goes straight on to the next one but before we call it for um uh the end of the game uh let me reset it really quick to show off one last thing before we uh before we do that oh yeah and hard mode re just goes on over and over and over again it's an endless loop um so you know the challenge is, is people seeing how many loops they can do before they stop or whatever but anyway uh if you want to do sound test mode you gotta press a and b and start and yeah you can find the sound test mode so you can uh, play the different sounds yeah just a nice little extra thing yeah it's a b and start is what you do to get the um, play all the music soundtracks Okay, well, anyway, so, yeah, that's a, well, nice nice one to end on, the game over one, so, but I hope you enjoyed uh, my playthrough of Konami's Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. It was a fun ride, again, I got a little frustrated, but overall, it was a fun frustration, you know, just trying to 
get through the levels and yeah after playing it again through hard mode off screen i was like man i didn't realize how easy the normal story was after that because they throw in so many extra enemies and stuff like that so yeah maybe one day i'll do it but for now we'll call castlevania 3 dracula's curse and end and uh and what's next for a castlevania playthrough who knows maybe i'll go to a different system this time but either way we'll leave it there thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time